Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February, 2023. I am your astrologer, Maria Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt, big moves happening in the sky now. On the fifth of the month, we will have this month's full moon, and this is a powerful one, without a doubt. Now, this full moon is taking place in a friendship part of your sky and you are about to see the truth of your role within a group dynamic that could be professional or personal and the truth of perhaps a given friendship at this time your connection to at least one key person is going to go through an important change rooted in some truth that you realize at this time now for some it is going to be a truth that ends up feeling empowering for others, it may have an element of disappointment. I'm sorry to say, but it does happen. Now, sometimes with this, it can feel as if things are happening in a friend's life that seem to come out of nowhere. And the part of you that might be scrambling now is the part of you that wants to help, that wants to be there. But there is going to be some Libras out there who are going to find that as a result of a particular group dynamic or what could be going on, it becomes like ripping off a Band-Aid where either you decide that this isn't working for you or someone else decides that they go in a different direction. Someone's behavior could have you feeling as if this is no longer a connection I wish to continue or I wish to pursue. Regardless, ultimately these energies speak very powerfully to a depth of understanding into what alliances are working for you and what aren't, what friendships are working for you and what aren't. And so let's talk about some of the celestial connections playing out here. So on the one hand, we do have a harmonious connection with Mars. Now that is energy I love for this full moon because it does suggest that whatever's taking place, you are empowered by it. You're strategic, you understand what needs to happen, what you can do, and you're implementing it. You're able to follow through the realizations with action. Developments now ultimately empower you to do something to improve circumstances or make a change in some way. We've also got a supremely harmonious connection with Jupiter in your opposite sign. And so that suggests that this is a time when your one-on-one -on -one alliances become part of infusing hope into a given circumstance, helping you to understand what it is that you're hoping for within that group alliance and moving forward from here. Now, for some Libras, there might literally be a group of people uh, within which you are connecting with someone one-on-one -on -one to understand the behavior of another and what's going to happen and how you're going to navigate forward. Um, but for others, it could be an outside alliance from a group endeavor, perhaps somebody who doesn't really know your friend, uh, that then becomes a source of wisdom, ultimately helping you to understand what you really want to do. And then we have Uranus speaking in a conversation of tension with this full moon. And that becomes the most important alignment here because that energy of Uranus does suggest that there is an element here that feels erratic, that feels surprising, and for some shocking as well. And this is the energy that does suggest that you may feel as a result of what comes forward or what happens, you are scrambling in some way. So it could be that very dramatically, someone who participates in a group endeavor with you uh, leaves. And so part of the scramble is figuring out who's going to do what, what's going to go where uh, with the remaining people within the group dynamic. It could be now that a friend behaves in a way that has you scrambling, that takes you by surprise, that feels downright shocking. And that in turn has you tapping into some of these other energies of empowering yourself and getting some wisdom from another one-on-one -on -one alliance. Regardless though, 
There are going to be truths revealed or perhaps behaviors you didn't expect or perhaps very dramatic exits of at least one person in your life now. And yes, it may be a surprise, but it looks like you're able to see and tap into the advantage rather quickly going forward from there. Now, as we navigate further, it is going to be on the 20th of the month that we will have this month's new moon. This new moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. And so this includes your work life from your clients, customers, coworkers. It has to do with the people who surround you at work. It also has to do with uh, the type of work that you're doing, how you feel about it, the overall work environment. Now, outside of that, this has to do with your daily habits and rituals of all kinds, including your health related habits as well. And so new moons tend to bring with them new opportunities. But here's the thing, this new moon is interesting in some ways. It is taking place at the very beginning of its respective sign, which means that the newness factor is highlighted that much more. It could be new inspirations, it could be new possibilities, the seed moment now, but it may take a little bit of time to really flesh out and understand. But here's something else to consider. We have um, Saturn close by in the sky, but this is what astrologers would say is not a true conjunction. And the reason I say that is because they are close together and yet both Saturn and the new moon are in different signs altogether. And so, yes, there is that sense of consequence at this time, but there's also a sense that whatever's happening now, well, it has long-term implications that can help you to feel more secure and is encouraging you to make decisions from a place of maturity, which is a good thing. But we also have uh, this new moon speaking in harmony with the nodes, which is lovely. You're able to see what's happening in your daily life, with your work, with your health, as connected to some spiritual understanding of the direction that you're going in. However, other than these particular energies, we don't have really big major planets um, communicating with this new moon with precision. And that is rather interesting and intriguing to me now. Because if we don't have those big celestial connections, in some ways the energy sort of stays contained. Like, yes, okay, there may be a new client, customer, or coworker that comes in. Yes, that's absolutely a possibility. Is it going to improve uh, your finances? Is it going to uh, help you to align with bigger goals? Is it gonna be a part of your larger success? That's not necessarily indicated here. It could be now, for example, that new work-related projects show up for you, and that can be nice, but again, does it become part of your larger success in any way? Does it become part of changes that end up with a greater consequence to your professional or personal life? That becomes part of the question and uh, the likelihood of those types of ways in which we would hope changes at work could benefit us in other ways. Well, the likelihood of that goes down a little bit when we see a new moon like this. Now, this can also bring with it a new perspective on how well you take care of you, New health-related habits, for example, can come in. With Saturn so close to this new moon, it's the incremental and consistent approach that ends up being most useful and implemented. So again, are, are you going to see big changes right out of the gate? Probably not, if I'm being very straightforward with you there. And yet you'll know if you're on the right track, and you'll know that consistency and the smallest little changes that you do can add up to a whole lot in the fullness of time. And that fullness of time, yeah, you got to give it some time to really reap benefit, but that really is okay. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we've got some really remarkable energies here. On the one hand, of course, Jupiter remains in your opposite sign of partnerships. Being activated at the full moon does suggest that your one-on-one -on -one alliances or what's happening in love in some way is part of helping you to tap into what's happening with friendship more positively as well. But the very big news I have to say is your ruling planet Venus will move into your opposite sign on the 20th. And this is always good news. It represents a time when it feels as if it's that much easier to connect with people with real long-term potential. It can feel as if 
the person you are with is that much sweeter and nicer, fortifying a sense of commitment. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, I love that Venus is moving into your opposite sign. You'll have this energy with you for about a month. And so it enters on the 20th and will be with you right in the next month as well. This is really exciting. It represents a time when you're enjoying the company of others. You're feeling that it's that much easier to connect with others as well as part of getting a sense of the options available to you in the context of love. For those of you just starting to date somebody, once Venus does move into your opposite sign, it brings with it a sense that you want to move towards uh, something that feels more committed. If you have it here with this person, well, it's going to feel that much sweeter and easier to move into a sense of a bond with them. But if it is that you don't necessarily feel that that is here, well, this could be a time when you end up connecting with someone new that does feel like a better fit for the long term. And for those of you in an established bond, what a remarkable time this can be. In the context of established bonds, it can be one of those moments that feels as if there is an easy way of connecting with your partner. Your partner is that much sweeter and easier to get along with as well. It can feel as if the commitment grows that much stronger also. So this can be some really lovely energy. If bonds are already strong, they feel that much easier to keep strong and where it is that they may need to be strengthened. Well, Venus here can help bring that sense of sweetness and light and the awareness of the blessings that both of you are to each other. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a valuable and meaningful astrological moment. I love how the energy now is one of hope and inspiration and focus as well. And that really is key. There is so much potential here to tap into more authentic and real friendships, for example, with the full moon. But yes, you may have to go through an uncomfortable moment to get there, and it may mean that a particular alliance comes to an end. Whoever needs to leave, let them. Whoever needs to stay, let them and value them as well. Either is an experience that ultimately moves you towards more authentic bonds. But if I had to choose one thing I love for you, it is going to be Venus moving into your opposite sign, helping you to feel that all of your one-on-one -on -one alliances are that much sweeter and nicer navigating forward from here. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.